Hurry, Banjo, hurry! You must run because of something. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the finale of Banjo Tooie. We are here to do stuff with the Bob. Well, don't just stand. How are you talking to us, Jam Jars? Jam Jars, you've got to teach me telekinesis. I mean, you taught us all a bunch of useful moves, but you need to teach us telekinesis, man. Psychic powers are the way to go now. Um, Banjo is pretty easy. There are like two buttons. Blow and suck. Suck and blow. Suck and... Or, I mean, there's a, those buttons as well, but... Because you're pretty savvy with buttons, especially the blow button. You know the push buttons. Oh no, it's gonna blow! You crazy feather punk! Anything much? Um, way to cut off jam just right there. I wonder what we'll head down there. And now it's blowing instead of sucking. It's blowing white jizz. Blue jizz. Blue jizz! As Lukajin would say. <coughs> oh, wait. It's blowing jizz into Jiggy Wiggy's. I mean, not Jiggy Wiggy, but Jingling's. <gasps> hey! Jingling's castle's orange now. Cool. And apology for Kazooie. Hey, he's alive again. He's no longer a zombie. Yay! Thanks, guys. Life's not much fun as a zombie. It never is. I like the little song where it goes like da 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 da. It's so fulfilling. Bottles next then, Kazooie. Wait. Okay. Um, yeah, Bottles has been dead for the entire game, but. Remember, Bottles' soul was never sucked into the Bob. He just died. And you expect to give him life again with the blow function? <laughs> hey, how about that? Jam just apologized, so suck it. So much pride issues, but yeah, we're gonna blow life back into bottles, even though the life force never was sucked from ban bottles to begin with. I don't know, this part doesn't make any sense at all, but what matters is we're jizzing on bottles' as corpse. Um, necrophilia much? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could this be? He's alive! Oh no! Look at the time! I'm really late for dinner! Um, you've been four months late for dinner. You realize that? Jeez, these people in the Banjo 2 universe have a horrible sense of time. The la, la, la. Is that a frog? I don't care how burnt it is, you're still eating it! <laughs> um, that'll kill him for sure. It's not my fault. The witch killed me and I've only just come back to life. Cool story, bro. Yes, I'm sure you have, dear. <laughs> That's essentially the same as a cool story, bro. And hello, we have visitors. It's the king and some... Beggar, dude. He's gonna kill us all. Goodness, who might you be? Yo, I'm King Jingling and... Dude, your neighbors, you don't need... Wait, your neighbors and you don't know King Jingling? First of all, he's a king of Jinjos. Second of all, he's your neighbor. You live under a rock, don't you? But I guess I guess Kung was going to the good side now. What about your desktop? So we unzombified Jiggy we I mean we unzombified Jingling and we brought bottles back to life. Wow, we're doing a lot of stuff in the finale. Ooh, lovely! I'll make us some nice gowns. And they're gonna have a party? Did it say party? Yeah, they said party. And we get to have a party! Mistress escaped so brave and burgoyne after her. So here's the thing. Um, we took control of the Bob and we revived bottles. So, you know, vengeance has been served, right? So, we don't need to fight Grunty anymore. I mean, think about it. There's no motivation to fight Grunty. Other than pure vengeance, I guess. But Bottles is alive, so there's no reason to have vengeance anymore. Maybe like, revenge for our house. This is for my house. But yeah. Nice try, Banjo. But I reckon that opening below the gun over there probably leads up. Oh yeah, that... I was hoping you hadn't seen that. Oh, Banjo, look. Kazooie is smart. There's a big difference between you and Kazooie. She is smart, so... 
she pays attention to detail, like a lot of detail. Oh yeah, her heels, right. So this was the little shower that Grunty was supposed to go in and get her body back. But alas, her body will never be ready because her life force. Like the sisters made this machine specifically for Grunty. She has good. She really had loyal sisters, and yet she killed them. What a bitch! Wow. Hey, it's an old friend. My voice is cracking. Why, hello there, Bazavanto. I'm Dingpot. Remember me? No, not really. I help you at the end of Bazooka's way. Oh yeah, it's old Stinkpot. <laughs> You're so cruel. But hey, why not jump inside for a little nice dingy bonus? Uh, dingy bonus? Uh, that sounds a bit weird, but why not? Let's have ourselves violated, shall we? Well, that was weird. I feel like Mary Poppins all over again. Or something. Basically, he maximizes all of your stuff, so we have four eggs and four feathers again. So now all that separates us from Gruntilda is, well, this climb, this epic climb up to seize the heavens. And, oh yeah, there's this. Well, we can always talk to this. It is written out 70 jiggies, 70 jiggies, blah 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 blah. You have enough jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to warp to? So yeah, I never show these off, but you can use these to warp to Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Which is convenient in some way, and it's... Yeah, it's pretty cool actually, so... That's nice. Free ride to Jiggy Wiggy's temple. And so, we take on the last Jiggy Wiggy challenge. Bring it on, sucker. Oh my god, the entire puzzle's gone. So, I guess it's going to show us a picture of um, the Cauldron Keep area that we were just at. But hey, you know what? Whatever. So far I'm doing okay. But, you know, get the corner pieces too, you know? Or not. Just avoid the corner pieces altogether too. Okay, get, just get the corner pieces, man. So yeah, this is the final puzzle challenge we must do in order to gain access to um, Grunty. Grunt, yeah, Grunty. So we can kick our ass. Like I said before, there's no other purpose in... Like, if you think about it, they have no motivation for killing... I mean, there's no motivation for fighting Grunty. Like, Baldos is alive, Jingling is alive, you know, everything is fine and dandy in the world. I mean, sure, Grunty's still out there and she's still dangerous, but she has no body. She's never going to be ready. So, why fret? Because this game has to have an end boss. Duh. This game has to have a final boss. Duh. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a video game. You have to meet Jiggy Wiggy's challenge, Ted. So now the great one will show you the way. Final speed up sequence. Go. Excellent! You have proved yourself most worthy by opening all the doors. A super special challenge now awaits. One that has no reward, yet is the greatest test of all. Press B if you wish to try it. Never! Never! You'll never get me fiend! Never! Screw you and your cult! Screw you and your cult! And he died! Jiggy Wiggy is dead! <laughs> so now, all that's left between us and Grunty is nothing, so we can just go and kick our ass. Except, I want to show you guys something. A little detail that Josh Jepsen and Nintendo Capizan have not shown in, shown in their LPs. I'm sure other Let's Players have, and I'm, I have faith that Dark Mind of Sith will show it in his Banjo TV Let's Play once he gets to this point, eventually. Someday, you know. So let's go to Bottle's house and, you know, go to the party. Huh.
Oh, that was my doodle. Hey, come on, please. I love the song. I want to party. But I want your scones, Mrs. Bottles. I want a scone. I want to scone you. Oh. Or something. You're not coming in. Hey, I, I revived you. Be grateful and let me in. Oh, come on, please. I want to party. Yes. Now pass, Klongo, another. Don't eat my scone, Klongo. That's mine. That's mine, bitches. You freaking jerks. I want in, you ungrateful jerks. Uh, yeah, so there's a party inside. And they're dancing to techno. This is like the Conquest by Freddy club music, but the precursor. And, you know, it's the, it's the bottle song. Bum, bum, bum. You know what? We don't need to go in th through the front door. They have a back door, right? One that was activated by their son. So let's go through the back door, shall we? That was weird. So remember the little secret passage, you know, Bottles' of son opened for us? Well, let's go into Bottles' house, shall we? Let's dance. Oh, come on! You serious? You jerks, you've barricaded this. Oh, wow, they really. They're having a freaking rave in there for crying out loud. I want to be in the rave too, man. Jeez. Oh, not smart. But uncool, man. Uncool. You sons of bitches. You pay for this. Okay. Here we are. Outside of Gruntilda the Witch. Grunty. All that's left is for us to kick our ass. Let's do it. Are you ready? Cause I'm not. Oh, looks like there's no one here. We should go home now. Please, let's do so. Except there's a, like a force field surrounding us. This is one hell of a view. One hell of a view. One hell of a guy. Maybe she died. You know, she crashed her head onto a ceiling, so... Maybe she suffered brain damage and died. Yeah, it was a fun adventure. Like... Here's another thing I liked about Banjo-Tooie. It's more of an adventure than Banjo-Kazooie. You know? Oh, um, you might want to turn around. You know, turning around might be a good habit once in a while. Once in a while. And so, here we have to hack one. Oh my god. This is gonna suck. Uh, Banjo? Oop! Look at the size of that! I'm sure it wasn't that big before. Was it that big before? Yeah, how could you miss it, you ignorant freaks? Use your senses. Use your instincts. What a nose. So many people say that this is one of the hardest boss battles ever. I'm looking forward to it. Revenge time! Don't bet on that bone brain. We'll see another bird. We'll see. Where's the laser button? Darn it! Someone pass the manual for this thing! Ah yes! Here we go! And so begins the final boss battle against Gruntilda the Witch in her Hag 1. Yeah. It's not pretty. This is pretty hard. Thought to and there's more quiz questions. So she'll explain the little, um, rules. And to correct and she'll fire slower fireballs at us. What is the name of her beautiful life sucking? It's Bob. Dave! Wow, that'd be a pretty cool hacker name. So, Grunty is actually merciful and she's gonna use the slow spells on us since we answered the correct, you know, questions correctly. And we get to do first person mode! Which is a bitch! And we need to aim correctly. Come on, come on. I prefer to use fire eggs because they're faster and we can then we can just throw them out quickly. That's why I use fire eggs over grenade eggs for now. But I mean that's one reason why I also put homing on because it's because my aiming sucks. As you saw there. Like I don't play first person shooter games at all. So first person shooting is a very oh come on. It's a very unfamiliar territory for me. 
So just run against the lasers and jump. Don't flutter, just jump. I already lost one. Oh, what the shit! Well, that sucks. I'm screwed for this attempt, aren't I? I've got a bad feeling about this. Fox. I don't want fire eggs. Oh. Come on, come on, fire eggs. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go, yes, 80. As you can see, there's a different phase every 10 hits. Oof, not again! Time for something new! And she's gonna shoot. Plenty more tricks left in this beauty! Activate the mortar cannon! Oh god, no. Bombs away! This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck for sure. Uh. I mean, this is pretty easy so far. Obviously, there's a cannon, I mean, there's a mortar, and then there's the little fragments that shoot out. But those are easy to dodge, thankfully. Okay, so let's have to skip the question now. Jolly's juice, Jolly's juice, yes! <laughs> Yay for juice that is jolly. Ew! I have to say, this theme is pretty epic though, but... I don't know, like, I like this boss theme in... Banjo Kazooie, which is all like you know, epic and I like the one in Banjo Kazooie more, the final boss battle music. But I found my so here's the thing, I actually beat I actually beat Hagwon on my first try when I first played Banjo Tooie. Whereas for the final boss battle against Grinchild of the Witch in Banjo Kazooie, I failed many, many, many times. Which is weird because this is considered to be harder than Grinchild and Banjo Kazooie. So I don't know, I don't know what happened. Oh, it's on top of the ticket booth. Yes. Remember that. Did you? You remember, right? Do you remember? When we fell in love, we were young and innocent then. Do you remember how it all began? It just seemed like heaven and I don't know the lyrics. Oh no. Um, so this is where the boss battle gets even harder. Now, the Hag 1 will move. Never be in front of the Hag 1. Never be in front of it. Always stay behind. Like, this is a very good place to be behind. But not too behind that you're close to the exhaust pipes, but you have to be behind because it is very essential. In fact, let me go to the Clockwork Kazooie eggs. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Don't grab those yet. You'll need those for later. I hope. I mean, I could grab one, but still. It might be a waste. Come on. I thought I just grabbed one. How about that? What if I feel my conscience? Which, if you take part in the multi- Uh... 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 Okay, um... Since I don't have friends, I don't really play the multiplayer mode that much. Thank you very much! You bitch! Oh yeah, I'm supposed to use... I'm supposed to hurt you, man! As you can see, this is why I use fire eggs. Because they're faster. Oh yeah, duh, I'm supposed to be like... Duh, just a second... Oh yeah, shit, shit, shit. Shoot, fire, now! Never mind. Um, I think I missed my chance. Okay, so you're supposed to shoot your uh, Clockwork Kazooie egg. Or maybe I'm supposed to wait for the next time it stalls. Maybe that's it, maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe that's it. Okay, so... Shoot me, I never played the multiplayer in Banjo Chewie. My bad! Uh, I, can, I can see you moving there. Yeah, I see you moving. You deceptive little... Witch. You said the Yeah, so as you can see, this is... Moving, and I can't think of anything to say, because... Anything else will cause me to go into panic. Okay, now. Clock is Kazooie egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk. Use coherent words when you express yourself, man. So, this is part is this part is pretty interesting. You're inside the digger and you're supposed to blow up the two batteries with the clockwork Kazooie egg. That really combines gameplay mechanics a lot. Eh? I heard an explosion. What's that burning smell? Your face, your ass, it's burning. You're going to- Oh my god! This is bad. Uh, uh, no! 
So this this part really sucks. This part really sucks. This I'm not gonna lie about that. It's it. Oh my god, I'm in front. Shit, 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 shit. Oh come on. I think this part really gives you trouble. And I'm losing a lot of health too for crying out. Oh my god. Six. Oh come on. Wow, I suck. Okay, I'm dying right here. What the hell? Come on, come on. Okay, she should be dead. Or, I mean, just in cap. Whatever, just stopped. I need to grab those. Or better yet, shoot. Or, shit, I didn't have the Cockroach Kazooie eggs. The Cockroach Kazooie eggs. Ah. Uh, uh. Sorry about that. Oh, come on. So don't... Uh, sorry about that. There's a little interruption there, but... Basically... Don't record in the night. Don't record your games in the night. Because otherwise you'll create havoc. Embarrassing... Oh, come on, I'm almost dead. What the hell is this, man? This is insane. This is bad. Very bad. Uh, I think I've lost this attempt. I think I did lost. I think I lost this attempt. I think I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. So, I think I lost. Um. I'll try again next time.